Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am so excited because I am back at it again with another Amazon favorites video. I did a video like this about two weeks ago and you guys really seem to love it. So here we are with a part two. I was really inspired because of this new product that I've been using every single day. It's like a food related item, which shout out to my subscriber Janice for recommending it to me. I have been loving it and that's really what like sparked me to really film this video again. And you guys really loved it the first one. So I was like, I gotta do another one because I love Amazon and I could make so many parts to this video, but today we're gonna be focusing on, of course, everything random, but also some furniture pieces and some things that I use to cook, which are like my essentials. So yeah, that is what we're gonna be doing today. Of course, grab a snack and let's go ahead and jump into my Amazon favorites part two. Okay, so let's start off with the star of the show. We have here this Vega Protein and Energy Plant-Based Iced Coffee Cold Brew. So basically this is just a powder. Long story short, it is so easy. Basically you just take your black iced coffee, put it in a cup, add some ice to it, put one scoop of this in, bam, mix it all around, you're good to go. You have amazing iced coffee that is like the perfect amount of sweetness. You have protein, you get your energy. There's one gram of sugar, no added sugar. It's vegan, it's gluten-free, it's amazing. And it basically tastes like as if you were to go out and get your iced coffee, but there's no you know, added anything to it. It's just so, so good. So I first got this literally just a couple of days ago and I was like, the minute that I tasted it, I was like, I have to make a video on this because it is just so amazing and I am in love with the taste of it because it's not overly sweet. You don't taste a lot of protein in it. And you guys know iced coffee can get expensive. And I was on a little bit of an iced coffee kick getting Starbucks like about a month or so ago. And I was like, I gotta stop this. It's way too much money and it's just too much. So I decided to just go out and make it myself. And at first I was just using almond milk and like a stevia sweet and low kind of packet thing. And it didn't taste the same. It did satisfy my coffee craving, but it wasn't the same. So one of you guys recommended this to me on Twitter. I immediately ordered it and I was like, oh, I'm in love. I've been missing out. So also, if you look at the ingredients, there's really good stuff in here. It's really nice to be able to read the ingredients on something and it not be like so long with like stuff that you can't even pronounce. So I'm just, I'm happy with this product. And this is a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Like this was like 30 some dollars, but you're going to get so many scoops out of this. It's like incredible. Even if you're not vegan, definitely check it out. You could definitely drink this before the gym or after. It's not really like a pre-workout kind of thing, even though it says like energy on it, but you could definitely, you know, use it before if you want just something in your stomach before you go to the gym, which sometimes I do, but typically I'll just come back and I'll have this with my breakfast and it's so, so good. So I am in love with it and yeah, it's amazing. Okay, let's talk about essential oils. So I love lavender essential oil for my oil diffuser and pretty much just for honestly anything. If you go on Pinterest or just on Google in general, you can see that you can do so much with essential oils. There's like so many different like cleaning things and just like a ton of different things that you can do with it. I really love lavender. That is like my favorite. I like tea tree, but lavender for me is very soothing, very relaxing. I just feel calm whenever I smell it. It's really difficult to find essential oils that don't have a ton of other added ingredients. So if you look at the ingredient here, it's literally just 100% essential lavender oil, which is like the best thing ever. And this is a big container of it. I usually get like the really small little ones, but I decided to try to find like a bigger one. And I was really happy to be able to see this one from this specific brand, which is now essential oils. It just looks like this. And it's just great because like I said, it's just hundred percent essential oils. There's nothing added to it. And this is going to last forever because it is very potent. So a little bit, couple drops, it's like literally all that you need, especially if you're using it in your diffuser. And it's just, I love the aroma of it. So this this is it. Okay, I have a couple screenshots of some stuff on my phone that I'm gonna pull up and that I'm gonna insert here because it was too much to bring up here to the beauty room. But the first thing I wanted to shout out is my rice cooker. So I have had my rice cooker for over almost a year and a half at this point. I got it last summer. I love rice. It's a big part of a lot of my meals for lunch and for dinner. So I love the rice cooker because it makes it so easy. You can keep it warm all day if you decide to make it early. It's really great for meal prepping and you can never mess up. That's why I love rice rice cookers and you don't have to just cook rice. You can make soups, you can do quinoa, but I always make jasmine rice. I've made quinoa a couple of times, but jasmine rice is my favorite and it's just so easy. You just literally, you cannot mess it up. All you have to do is add water and it cooks it so quick. It's probably less than 30 minutes or so for a lot of rice. And even if you do decide to kind of maybe keep the rice there for like the next day or something, it's not going to get hard. It's going to still stay really fluffy and just delicious. So a rice cooker for me is a must. Speaking of cooking appliances, 
a blender. This blender is apparently, I've never had like the original, but apparently it is a dupe for the Vitamix. I don't have the Vitamix, but I was gonna order it last summer and I ended up going with this one just because everybody said this was literally the same exact thing, except it's like 50% off of the original Vitamix. So I really like it. I feel like it's really great for smoothie bowls, smoothies, just blending in general. It's a very, very powerful blender. You don't need to blend for like 20 minutes to make your recipes. It's so quick, it's so easy, and it's very, very strong, very powerful blade in there. So be careful, but yeah, I really like it. The settings are great on it. I like how you can adjust it. It's very basic. It is a little bit of a more bulky blender. I think a good blender is a really essential, of course, and it's a really great gift. You know, Christmas is coming up. Most of us are adults, and I don't know about you guys, but I get excited over stuff like this. I'm officially getting old. I'm gonna be 24, and this is the stuff that excites me, besides makeup. Okay, now we can get into my furniture and a couple pieces in my beauty room that really stand out that I love. So the first thing that I wanted to shout out are my two canvases. So I got these on Amazon, and I feel like, duh. They are just so cute. They're like, they have like little slight pops of pink, which go perfectly with my bedroom. I feel like you can find a lot of really cute like decor pieces like this on Amazon, whether it's for your beauty room, if you do makeup, if you do lashes, etc. I love the little Sephora bag. It's adorable with like the flowers. It just really goes with my theme. And these were a little bit more pricey, but I feel like it was so hard for me to find specific pieces like this at like Home Goods or Ross, Marshalls, places like that. A lot of them looked very generic, but I like how these just look a little bit different. But they're very soft with the colors and they're not too much. They just really bring the beauty room together nicely and I love these. I also do have different sizes that you can get, so make sure you're looking at the different dimensions online. And then I wanted to shout out my acrylic organ Organizers. Huge disclaimer, these are very expensive, I will admit. I'm pretty cheap when it comes to certain things, but with other things, I'm more willing to splurge. I was looking for acrylic organizers like this for the longest time that were like under $50 and I couldn't find them. I know that Marshalls and TJ Maxx have kind of similar things like this, but you can tell that it's plastic. It's a little bit cheaper, of course. In this case, you definitely get what you pay for. And when you pay for this, I know it's very, very expensive, but it's such good quality. So I got one originally over three years ago and it's still going strong. I don't know if it's necessarily like 100% real acrylic. I feel like I want to say it is, but it's such good quality and it stores so much makeup and I think it looks really pretty too on top of your vanity or like this dresser that I have, which the dresser, by the way, is from Home Goods. I just really like the way that it looks and the way it stores my makeup. I think I wanna get two more for my vanity just cause I have an overflow of makeup and I like these because it just, it's easy for me to see all of my products but still keep it organized at the same time. So it's just really great overall. I love it. I know it's pricey, but it's so worth it. I thought it was so worth it that last year I ended up ordering two more and the direct seller is really fast, very efficient. They answer emails if you have any specific questions. They have really, really great customer service, so I'm in love. Also really love the crystal knobs on it. I think that's a really pretty touch, and it just, you know, it looks a little bit more glam. Let's talk about my vanity. I love my vanity. I actually wish that I had enough room to get ready here every day, but I don't just because of the way that, like, my filming setup is set up right now. I usually just get ready right here, but my vanity, I think it is beautiful. It is so simple, and I love just just everything about it. So I got this back in 2015, it's still going strong. I think it is amazing. It makes such a great gift for maybe your daughter, your sister, anybody. I think it is just so beautiful and they do have different colors. Of course, I got the white one. They have black and they have a dark like cherry wood kind of thing. And by the way, the glass piece that I have on top, I got that custom made at a local glass shop where I live. I'm sure if you look up like local glass shops near me, you can find someone to make something like that for your furniture. I love the little drawers on the side. I think it's perfect for like lip balms, your contacts, eye drops, just like little things. It doesn't store a lot obviously on the side, but I think it is still really pretty to get ready and add a couple little things on top. I did change out the knobs. I decided to go with crystal knobs just to match the acrylic organizers that I have on the other side of my beauty room, and I love them. Those are also from Amazon. I will link those. I think they just take the vanity to the next level and just make it look a little bit more girly and glam, which I love. It also does come with a stool. The stool does have like a really nice beige tan seat cover on it, but I decided to just switch it up because I wanted something different, and I got the seat cover from Walmart, and I just switched it out, which is nice because you can change it up. The stool is actually really good quality. I use it to down well when I did get ready here I used it to sit down and it was great Hector actually uses that stool to sit down when he's cutting his hair and he it weighs a little bit more than me so it's really good quality I'm very happy with it and I think like I said it's just such a great vanity and at the time when I got it it was around $200 which I think is really good because a lot of vanities are so expensive but this one I was surprised that it came with a stool and everything and like 
the mirror and everything and it was just around $200. I think that's like such a steal. Okay, next up I have this chest that I love for storing my makeup. Of course, I use this stuff for makeup. You can use this for hair products, skincare, whatever your little heart desires, but I love this for storing makeup. Again, I do have the crystal knobs on this as well just to match everything. These drawers are nice. I feel like they're good for storing makeup and they're not super deep, I will admit, but I mean, it gets the job done and I'm able to store a pretty good amount in each drawer, which is nice. I was looking for something like this for the longest time that wasn't super expensive and I found it. It's perfect and it wasn't that difficult to put together. And the white little plastic containers that I have on the inside, those are from Walmart and I'm pretty sure you can get them there or the dollar store as well. All right, moving towards the other part of my beauty room, we have this little organizer with wheels on it. I pretty much use this for extra backups of products or new makeup that I want to test out for videos. I like having it out invisible so that I can see it and it's not like lost in my drawers and I forget about it. I think this is really great if you do makeup or if you want to put a lot of your hair products if you're doing clients at home or something just because you can like store everything and you can move it because it does have the wheels on it so it's very convenient. I feel like it's very practical because it's not too heavy so it's very basic but I think it's great for a lot of different storage. I feel like even for skincare it would be really great to have if you have a bigger bathroom so I really love this one. Now let's talk about my desk which is what you guys see in every single video. So this here and this over here is just one furniture piece. It's one desk. It's like an L-shaped sort of desk. It's all connected and I love it. I wanted something that was just big enough but not too big, not too bulky, but that just was very just clean looking. Clearly I love clean. I love white. There are drawers here which is really nice for storage. I usually put little knickknacks in my drawers. I'm not going to go into them because they're a mess. I have a lot of receipts in there. I also keep a lot of like tax stuff, like you know boring stuff and shipping supplies that I use for giveaways when I'm shipping out prizes. I also put little knickknacks on top. A lot of like the stuff that I have on top is like from Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and then I have my computer here on the other side. And I just love the way that it looks. It's great for pretty much anything. You know, it's a desk, it's standard, but I think it's nice just because it doesn't look like your traditional desk, which is like my favorite thing about it. So I love this. I also do have my chair that I use. It's not the comfiest chair, but it is really cute. It's like, it goes with the whole aesthetic. It's like an acrylic clear chair. And I just put like a fluffy rug on top just for like decoration. And then I have this cushion that I also got from Amazon, which is silver, which matches with, you know, the rest of my decor and everything. So not very comfortable. Like I don't like to sit in here for a long period of time editing, but it is nice. It does look really cute, you know? So if you're looking for something like this, this is probably one of the most affordable acrylic chairs that I have found. A lot of them can run really, really high. So I was happy to find this one because I feel like it goes with everything else in my room. Now let's talk about my filming table. So I love this filming table and I know that it is very messy. Like I said, I'm about to deep clean this room ASAP. You can just see how much I fit on here. So I keep basically all of my makeup brushes. I keep some essential makeup things in here. I keep my laptop, which I use as my viewfinder. I basically just keep everything. And I just got done filming another video. That's why the desk also looks like a disaster. Like I literally just exploded on it. I did spray paint the legs on this white. They were black and I just wanted everything to look white, but it is kind of like peeling as you can see. But this is not just great if you film videos, because I know not everybody films videos, but this could be really versatile. I feel like for maybe storage in a garage, maybe if you're having a garage sale or if you have kids and you want them to do arts and crafts or something on a table that isn't that expensive. The table does fold so you can put it away. I usually just keep it out like all week just because I am filming all week, but I think it's great. It's just a really nice spacious table. It was very affordable. The last and final thing that I wanted to shout out is my my ring light. I get so many questions about the ring light that I have. So I actually have two ring lights. I have one which is right in front of me and then I have another one here on the side which you guys don't see. But it adds a lot of light to my background over here just because it's like it's so white back here that I feel like if I didn't have that light it would just look very dark and gloomy and I just I need another ring light. So if you guys are looking for a ring light whether you're a photographer, a makeup artist, you want to make videos, I think Amazon is the best place because they are the most affordable. The ring light that I have now I don't remember exactly how much it was but it was not more than like 150. I really love it because you can adjust the settings on it. You can make the light a little bit more yellow, more warm, or more cool tone, like bluish. You can make it brighter, dimmer. You can bend the light. You could really like just adjust it and play with it depending on what specifically you're using the light for. So I think it is just the best investment. A ring light is like the best thing you can do because lighting is super important when it comes to your videos or just like in general. Like I said, if you're a makeup artist and you want to take pictures with your clients or of your clients or you want to do their makeup with a really good 
quality light. I think the ring light is amazing. So I love this one. I just got this a few months back because I needed some extra lights and I really, really enjoy it. And just like that, we are all done. So I really didn't have like a ton of things, but these are basically just like holy grail furniture essentials and a couple other little random things that I use constantly or in this case that I just started using that I love. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Of course, please leave me your go-to products from Amazon down below, whether they're it's furniture pieces or just like randomness. I would love to hear from you and I'm sure everybody else would appreciate it as well. So leave me a comment. Hope you guys are doing well today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already before you leave and I will see you in a few days in my next video. Bye.